Hey guys, what's up? Got my hands on the latest Acer C720. Now, this is one of the new Chromebooks offered by Google. This is retailing for about $250 internationally and is available in India for 23,000 rupees. Now, Chromebooks have been around for two years but introduced in India only recently. Now, this is the Acer C720 and here's what's in the box. A setup guide, a power adapter, another guide, a power cord that connects to the adapter and that's about it. Of course, the C720 Chromebook itself. Now the C720 comes with 11 inch screen, so expect great portability, it's not that heavy a uh, laptop. On the left side there is a 3.5mm headphone socket, a USB 3 port, an HDMI port and the power adapter socket. On the other side there is the additional USB 2 port and a memory card slot. Now, considering that this laptop comes with only 16 GB of onboard storage, you will be needing an external hard disk or memory card for storage expansion. That's where all your music or movies or any other data would go. You'd need one backup option. Now with every Chromebook you also get 100 GB of cloud storage which is available on Google Drive and is free for 2 years. Now overall it's a compact device but not very slim compared to some of the new Ultrabooks uh, and the overall look is pretty pleasing. The Chrome logo on the top clearly distinguishes the device from any regular laptop. So you can tell it's a Chromebook even from a distance. Now the Chromebook runs on Chrome operating system which uh, on this side of the world might be new to many people but in simple terms it's basically a laptop that runs on the Chrome browser. That's as simply put. There's nothing else to it. So you're gonna access the web for email, social networking, or even creating documents. But unlike a regular operating system, this doesn't have much to offer in terms of productivity. Uh, you cannot run any of the mainstream softwares like Microsoft Office or Adobe Photoshop. Instead, the Chromebook is solely dependent on web-based apps that can be downloaded from the Chrome store. Options are plenty here, from games to productivity tools to utilities to themes. Here's one thing that you need to keep in mind. If you choose to use any of them, you will need the internet to run them. Chrome is basically a Linux-based operating system with nothing more than the Chrome browser, a media player and file manager. Most of its functionality relies on cloud-based computing and hence its need to be always connected to the internet. But if you are already using cloud-based apps like Evernote or Google Docs or Gmail or Dropbox, then switching to a Chromebook should not be that difficult. There are certain apps that Chrome now supports for offline use like Gmail and Docs and a whole lot of games and that list is gradually increasing. So if you start it up and you're not necessarily connected to the internet, you could still create documents and check email and a couple of other things. The Chromebook as a concept is brilliant. I think the cloud is already solving a whole lot of problems. For instance, high-end graphics are being streamed straight to your PC without the need of a high-end graphics card. All the processing actually happens in the back-end servers, in services like OnLive. So, in years to come, when broadband is blazingly fast and uploads and downloads won't really matter, I think almost every app or software could migrate to the cloud. That would make for a better ecosystem. For now, that's not true. The Chromebook is heavily dependent on being online and if you don't have access to the internet at all times, you could feel crippled. Again, at 23,000 bucks, you could get a cheap Windows laptop with similar configuration but for anyone who wants a simple device to use and not necessarily deal with all the issues that come with traditional operating systems, this should do. As I said, it's a laptop with a browser. So tell me what you think of the Chromebook or more importantly, would you switch to a cloud-based operating system like Chrome OS? Or are you happy with traditional operating systems like Windows or Mac? Let me know what you think in the comment section below and be nice, like this video, share it or even better, subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.